G'day, welcome to the Random Locks and Picks. So, what do we have here? The BSC gas bottle compared to the um, keg king bottle that I've been using. I took some photos of this before, so it was reading about 900 psi. It says on here's in 50 and at 20 psi. Please fucking read it. There you go, 20 psi. Just an empty keg to keep the fridge door open. Over here, with your sanitizer, spunding valve, and the line to the fermenter keg. Now this is where the beer's been brewed. We're pulling it up out of the keg via the, the spear, via the coupler, obviously. Gas from this bottle here, which has got a check valve on it. I'm on my check valve, so beer can't get in the fucking bottle. Um, that gas is coming in here and it's running up to there. That's the gas inlet port. So we're running 20 psi into here at the moment and it's obviously pushing the gas out. So what I've got to do at the moment is just watch this line because it's nice and fucking clear at the moment. But when it gets to the bottom, well at the start it can pull a bit of troop, which is the sediment at the bottom, and at the end it can pull a bit of troop. So you want to be able to pop that you know pop that off nice and quickly you can hear that stopped but you'll hear it start to not to spurt. she's a bit wobbly it's dripping in there nice and slowly Well, it was before I fucking did that, anyway. But, um... We'll give her a spray just for the fuck of it. And that's one thing you should do. If, if you take it off, is give that a spray because obviously beer comes out there. In the uh, gas inlet. I'm not dumping it in the gas side because that's what I do. Uh, you pull it out there. You could obviously connect it to the... Um, the beer post and push it in that way but I've found that it's a lot better to just drop it in so what I've done previously is taken a bottle similar to this one full sanitizer with this uh, line cleaner on it and I filled that up I put 175 grams 150 grams something like that of um, uh, dextrose and boiled water in there and then use that rather than carbonation drops. Um, sorry for all the arms, I'm just trying to explain this to someone, a friend of mine. So uh, I did that first prior to connecting all this up. That's had findings put in it a couple of days ago, or probably on Friday or Saturday night. Um, so it's had a couple of days being, it's uh, Monday, mid-Monday now, and that's enough time for it to drop through, and in about uh, 10, 15 days, I mean, some people have wait four weeks, but this beer has been sitting in there for, I uh, did a previous video on it, so you could go back and check the time stamp on that, that's been in the temperate for about two weeks. But yeah, eh, long story short, uh, because people do have other things to do, um, we got 25 psi. If we can get some focus here, there's 30, there's 20. There we fucking go. So that's that pressure there is what's being pumped into the keg. That pressure there is obviously what the bottle's reading, uh, what the bottle allegedly has in it. Uh, it's a six kilo D size gas bottle from BAC. Uh, that's keeping the door open. Um, it means absolutely fuck all other than the fact that it's in shot. So we've got the gas line out, just to repeat myself. Um, it comes in through that little piece of stainless steel pipe, wraps, well, it's dead sort of doing a bit of a twisty one down there and coming up coming in there 
So that 25 psi is on this on top of this keg, obviously, and it's pushing the beer out through this line at 25 psi. Well, I assume 25 psi because I don't have a gauge on it to measure. Otherwise, the fucking beer would end up in the gauge, and the gauge would be fucked. Um, but yeah, this is essentially a closed pressure transfer, as I've shown before. But and what we'll do, I can't show you at the moment because it taps on another keg. But I'll pop a tap on that. This keg here will go in there where that one is, and we'll chill that down. You know, after about two weeks of fermenting in secondary, as you would in a bottle. Fucking dead Kennedys in the background. Um, what am I trying to say? Yeah, after about two weeks, two to four weeks, depending. Uh, it's got 24 psi on it, so it's carbonating, and it's also got uh, the uh, 150, 175 grams of uh, sugar for secondary ferment, which you'd otherwise put in the tallie bottles. So you might use two of those little cubes, two, two of those little sugar cubes inside a bottle. So being 45 litres, you work it out to be about 100, and they're about two grams a piece. So thinking about that, um, with about 40, 45 litres, that pumps you up to, you know, around the 100, 200 gram mark. You just it's a bit of a guess and a bit of a previous experience so I'll just zoom in on that so you can see that so that's coming over here and going into there and you can hear it before I shut up so it's just filling up through the gas port and just before it starts to blow thick murky shit through that or when it just as I see it coming through I've got basically I'm sitting on the chair so I'll pop that off and the job will be done then this guy this guy here goes where that fella is I'll give the fridge a clean out because you know I've had a the blow off bottle down there so or the blow of line going into that bottle there and it's collected a bit of bit of sediment, bit of uh, troop, bit of hops, different things like that so just standard thing, clean out the fridge before you put a new brew in it and yeah not a shitload else to say really but uh, this fucking works a treat and when done in these Gives me about four weeks worth of fucking beer. So, you know, that includes pouring jugs of beer for when mates and friends come around. So, it's definitely, definitely worth it. Um, I just wish I had fucking two of these. And I actually saw the bloke who gave me this fridge the other day in a home brew shop. I won't name names, but thank you, bloke. So, uh, what was my fucking point? Yeah, it's a small world and a small town. Um, yeah, I showed him a video. It was like, this is your fucking fridge, mate. And, yeah, he was happy to see it being used for, uh, for its purpose. Because he had the, he had, what, one, two, three, four taps in the fucking door at one point. So... She's been well loved. Anyway, I think I'm just rambling at this fucking point, as I say, totally rambling, locks and picks. Um, what's the bottle saying over here? Let's focus in on that. 800, so yeah, there's a fair bit of head pressure sitting on that, which is obviously being transferred into there. Now that, this will eventually equalise. I should shut the fuck up because we're getting to the point where I need to be dealing with this guy here anyway um, that's what an enclosed transfer looks like 
for those who haven't seen it and uh, otherwise I'll just shut the fuck up and get the fuck out of here um, tell the random mocks and picks thanks for watching have a nice day and uh, enjoy what you do catches <laughs>